Welcome to the physics lab. Today we are going to start with a new experiment, focal length of convex lens. In my concept part, you have already learned about the ray diagram of a convex lens and also we have learned many more features about the convex lens. So we will start with the experiment on convex lens. We need to find out focal length of this convex lens. So the aim of the experiment to find the focal length of this lens by three methods. The first one, the plot the graph of 1 by v versus 1 by u, then v versus u and then by calculations. Experiment is very simple. You need to know only one trick. How to remove the parallax. So that trick I will tell you how to remove the parallax. Now the object at a far distance if we are focusing on tree on the wall. The tree is at a very large distance so we call it infinity. And when we focus on the wall we get a very clear inverted image of that tree which is diminished in size. Then the distance between the wall and that convex lens is the rough focal length of that lens. That is the first part. We come back to the table and we can see the apparatus. So let's see what is the apparatus for this experiment. This is called as the optical bench. On this optical bench, there is a scale and we can, it is a one meter bench and we will be keeping this upright exactly at 50 centimeter. Convex lens is kept inside this upright I can show you, just keep taking the convex lens. So we need to uh, fix it here and uh, we have to move the screw so that it is fixed in that particular region. So this is one upright. You can see there are two uprights here where the object needle and the image needle. These are the two needle, optical needles we have kept in this upright. We need to see that these needles are exactly at the optical center. Their tips are at the optical center. So at the center, center of the rubber lens and from here also you see that they are at optical center. You can see these two screws here. These screws we can take it sideways and this side left or right and then we can make them touch each other. The tips touch each other. So we will start with our experiment. Look at the observation table. In the first column, we have u, that is the object distance. Second column, we have v, that is the image distance. And the column follows. So first we will find out u is equal to 20 cm. We have got the rough focal, focal length in the range of 10 cm. But it is a rough focal length. It is not perfect. We need to go for the perfection. For that, we need to perform an experiment. So first, we'll keep the distance between the object beam and the lens as 20 cm. Thinking that it is 10 cm. So we need to get 2f. u is equal to 2f. According to me, it is 20 because focal length is 10. According to ray diagram, I need to get the image at 20. Now let me see whether I am getting the image. So I go to the image side, I just move my head and I find that the pin is now moving faster. So I take it closer, closer, closer. At one position, I find that the pin and the image pin are moving together. So I will check the pin and when I will check it, it is 20.3. That is 50 to 70.3 is 20.3. So actually the rough focal length is not perfect. I mean we should not go for the perfect reading because we are supposed to get it. We should go and do the performance of the experiment should be correct. That's all. So this is the first reading. Second reading, you need to keep the object between f and 2f. Now what is our f? f is 10. What is our 2f? It is 20. So we need to keep it between f and 2f. Let me keep it at 17 cm. Keep it 17 cm. And then I again move the move this side and remove the parallax. You know very well 
Like the object distance in between F and to F, image is beyond to F. So we need to get a reading beyond 70. So let me see what reading I get. Yes, I find that the image is moving faster. So I need to remove the parallax. I get the second reading. The second reading what I get at 17 centimeter is 25.5 centimeter. How much? 25.5. So what is 17? It is between F and 12. What is 25? It is beyond 12. It is above 20. So it's the first step. Similarly, we take at 18 cm and again I remove the parallax. I get the reading as 23. Then I keep it at 19 cm. Again I remove the parallax from this side and I find that it is 22 cm. That means when the object is between F and 2F, you get all the images beyond 2F, that is beyond 20. So now we are going to the second part of the experiment. We have already done the reading object distance between F and 2F. Now we are keeping object beyond 2F, that is at 21 cm. Again go the other side and you have to remove the parallax. Once you know how to remove the parallax, the, you have won the battle. You know the experiment well now. So you must know only that skill is required how to remove the parallax. I am telling you how to remove it. If you find that the image is going faster, you need to increase the distance. So we have to take readings. 7 to 8 readings are required. Object distance, image distance. Why do you think object distance is written as minus negative sign? Because of sign convention. Now we need to plot the graphs. After we do the calculations as given in the observation table, do the calculations, get the value of f, and now we need to find the value of f by plotting a graph. First one, v versus u. Now you know that v is on the y axis and u is on the negative of the x axis, negative x axis because the values are negative. One observation, one graph, and the second graph, 1 by v versus 1 by u in the similar manner negative side x axis after doing this we will go and do the calculations after plotting the graph so let's move to the board and let's start of calculating the focal length of the complex lens we have finished taking all the observations and now we have to start with our calculation so we are asked to find out focal length by using a graph, two graphs, v versus u, 1 by v versus 1 by u. So these are the two graphs. So let's first learn the first graph. We plot a graph of v versus u, image distance, object distance, negative because object distance is negative as per sign convention. So then we draw the graph and we get this type of graph. Now we are drawing a bisector of this graph. So exactly at 45 degrees from here, we are drawing a line which will meet it over here. Then we will draw the two lines and make a nice square. What is a square? All sides are of equal length. That means distance OA is equal to distance OB. Now you know very well in our observations, if you notice at U is equal to 2F, we got V is equal to 2F. That means this has to be 2F because here U is equal to V. That means this is 2F, this is also 2F. So we got OA is equal to OB is equal to 2F is equal to 20 and therefore focal length is 10. This is what we are going to get in the graph. Let's move to the next graph. In the next graph, 1 by V versus 1 by U. Now again 1 by U is negative. So it's on the negative side. So we are taking the negative x-axis, positive y-axis. When we plot the graph, we get the graph in this manner. You can notice here, this graph at A, the value is 0.1. At B also the value is 0.1. We know very well this formula. 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. This formula we know. Now, 1 by V. Let's take coordinate at A. At A, what are the coordinates? Let's write down. Let's write down the coordinates at A. It is equal to 0 because 
and this is 1 by v. And what are the coordinates of b by the way? I'll write here 1 by u, 1 by u and y0, y coordinate is 0. So these are the two coordinates of a and b. Now let's solve for this coordinate. We'll substitute this value here. So what is 0? 1 by u is 0. So I'll write here 1 by v minus 0 is equal to 1 by f. That means 1 by f, v is equal to 1 by f. This is what we get. That means this distance is 1 by f. Same way, let me substitute this coordinates in this. So I get 1 by, 1 by v is 0 here. So I write 0 minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f. That means this focal length is minus 1 by u. So now you know that this distance from here, here to here is 1 by f. And again here to here is 1 by f. That means let us find out the uh, average of the two. So OA is equal to OB is equal to 1 by f which is equal to 0 0.1. And 1 upon 0 0.1 is nothing but 10 centimeter. So we get the value as 10 centimeter by using these two graphs. That's all we have to do in this experiment. Thank you very much. See you next time in the next session on optics. Thank you.